You have young children? When should you start teaching them about finances? Keep watching. <laughs> You may think handling money is something they're just gonna learn later in life, but in fact, an article by PBS has shown kids' money habits are already set in place as young as seven years old. And they start to grasp basic money concepts as early as three. That is crazy. You being a parent, don't worry that your kids will end up too entitled. You can avoid all this by teaching them financial habits as early as possible. And the best time to start is, you know my answer, NOW right now. I have five kids of my own and I know what it's like to raise them. It could be challenging and I also grew up in poverty and my mom taught me what it takes to get out of it. So today, let me share with you some tips that you'll find helpful when raising your own children to become financially responsible. They don't even have to be yours. It could be an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, a guardian, someone that is responsible for children. And you can start by teaching them the best way. The best way to start training your kids is by giving them money and guiding them on how to use it. You can do it two ways. One, you can go through the online banking apps that cater to children like uh, Greenlight or FamZoo or Rooster Money and even something called Step. Giving them access to online banking gives them a sense of ownership, something they should value early on. And it also trains them on how to use banks, grasp interest rates, and how savings work. You'll also be able to get involved with the apps and make it easier for you to monitor what you're teaching them and what they're doing wrong or right on a daily basis. The second option is to give them good old cashola, cash, dinero, however you want to call it, greenbacks. Giving kids cash provides them a better sense of how to use money since you can see it, feel it, it's tangible, unlike cards. And they can also understand the value of money because they realize that money is finite, which is more straightforward concept to grasp than anything plastic. And when money is finite, it makes them think harder about how to spend it. Children learn about money through their parents first and how they treat their money comes from you. To give them an idea of how the world generally works, give them a task and a reward system to teach them what it means to work. Give them easy tasks such as watering the lawn or cleaning up the garden or washing dishes or offering them a salary in return. Instruct them where to put that money. Is it through the piggy bank or is it online banking? You know, then see how they spend it. Is it immediate? Teach them the pros and cons on deciding how to save and have rewards. Teach them the pros and cons, and if they decide to save, reward them. And if they decide to spend immediately, then talk to them about that, but ultimately leave the choice up to them. They will learn the value of working hard for something they need and want. And this is how you get rid of entitlement as well. One more thing that provides kids with a sense of ownership is by opening an account under their name with a custodial Roth IRA. And when they see the account named after them, it also increases their sense of responsibility. As a parent, you have something less to worry about since you're already setting up an excellent financial rule, which is to save for retirement. And from that, a Roth IRA teaches them how to invest where they can pick stocks that they want to invest in. And then explain that to them and see what their process for picking the stock was. Encourage them to learn more about investing because this is how you're going to end up bonding with them and also guiding them along the way. And that's the next tip that I need you to focus on is actually co-piloting their finances, not just to manage theirs, but show them how you manage their accounts as well. Tell them why you picked certain stocks, share your investment portfolio in layman terms and show them the ropes of handling finances and investing. And that means being open and honest with them so they can follow your footsteps, good, bad, or indifferent. In 2018, there's a study that showed that family communication patterns actually affect a child's financial literacy. So always promote financial literacy and investing. And if you want to make the most of your time improving your financial health, why not try our weekly newsletter where each week you get a bit of financial advice along the way in your journey to financial freedom. If you're available, you'll get an extra book that teaches you advanced financial strategy. So just go ahead and click the link right here. Another thing that you could do is enroll them in financial classes. You can ask the school if they have any organization that focuses on financial literacy for kids. And if not, there are a ton of online courses and there's organizations like Jumpstart that provide easy financial classes for children. You can enroll them in the summer and they could even do it after school hours. This may seem like an extra step, but remember as a parent, you're the first influence for your kids on the importance of money and will only take a bit of extra time. But these kind of classes will help them set their future up. And if you're enjoying our content, go ahead and apply some liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm know that this video is valuable. I'll bring you more content like this every single week. Make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know when the next video is coming.
Remember, it's best to start now for kids to understand the importance of finances while they're still young. Give them real life examples to help them get the concept of money, making them sweep or wash dishes or watch a dog and give them a bank account. But keep in mind, cash gives them a better sense that money is truly limited. Understanding this will make them less likely to spend on something absolutely useless. So Ellen Rogan, a financial advisor who spoke at TED Talk, describes that a good way to talk to children and to reinforce sound and good financial habits is by helping them picture what it means to have a prosperous life. Ask them things like, what do you like for your life to look like in the future? Kids are really great at using their imagination, so make them draw it out their goals, their dreams, and explain to them what it takes to get there. More importantly, she explains that mental rehearsal is a powerful tool with children. And by constantly asking these types of questions, you're not only helping them picture their future, but you are also enforcing their desire to succeed in life. And what will help me achieve my own dreams about this channel is that you hit that like and subscribe button. And maybe your kids are in their 20s and won't worry. We have a video for that as well. How to build your wealth in the 20s.